there's often industry pressure for organizations to be at the forefront, to showcase their expertise, to leverage their reputation in order to grow their client or customer base. Each of these are valid reasons for an organization to begin their thought leadership journey. But there are other reasons that are often overlooked. First and foremost among them relates to your employees. People want to work for thought-leading organizations. They also report increased engagement and satisfaction scores when they themselves achieve the status of thought leader. I have coached many aspiring thought leaders, and to a person, they tell me they feel a deeper sense of purpose when their expertise is recognized and valued, and when their ideas are heard, when they have a seat at the table in their organization and their industry. Organizations that want more engaged employees should invite, nurture, and reward more of these efforts at all levels. Leonard Ponzi, who writes frequently about corporate reputation, believes that thought leadership has another important outcome, particularly for large entities. Organizational research tells us that often between what happens at the top of the organization to what happens at the bottom of the organization, there's a huge informational gap. So by regularly creating thought leadership content, explaining the leader's point of view, and then sharing that widely, this helps align the organization. And by having employees and stakeholders align with what is reality, then you're better off, he says. You're a more resilient organization. Thought leadership at its core is about trust. And trust is built around trustworthiness, that what is showing up on the outside is also being lived on the inside of the organization. True thought-leading organizations walk their talk. They don't just advocate for social justice. They treat their employees with respect. They don't just talk about sustainability. They monitor their own actions to ensure their practices and those of their suppliers are sustainable. They're not positioning themselves as experts in the future of work while laying off thousands of workers without a severance package. Thought leadership, when done well, also has what Jim Collins outlined in his book, Good to Great, as the flywheel effect. It is not the first effort that causes a heavy flywheel to turn. It is not the second or the fifth. It is the accumulation of momentum over time, the combination of all efforts aligned in the right direction. As you set your strategy and track your impact over time, you should begin to see your own flywheel effect. As your organization continues to encourage employees to share their expertise, ideas, and perspectives, more and more people will see your firm as the go-to leader in your field. As you gain more trust in your industry, some people will want to become employees, partners, clients, or customers. Others will seek your input on legislation, regulations, standards, or industry changes underway. Others will invite you to the stage or give you a larger platform for connecting with a broader audience. Each turn in the flywheel builds upon the work done earlier, compounding your investment of effort. Over time, there is an unstoppable momentum, according to Collins. If you stay focused and committed, that is what you'll find. You'll not just be known, you'll be truly making a difference. 